Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your bi-weekly card reading. Um, hopefully I'll be able to be posting a little more readings uh, after today. I do apologize for my lack of card readings and channel messages on here. Um, our family, someone in our family had an accident and I've been helping them recover and uh, it's been a long, uh, stressful, hard road, but um, I'm able now to get a little bit more time away from um, from taking care of them. So hopefully this will, um, so hopefully I'll be able to be posting some more readings um, on here for you guys. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your understanding. And um, just thank you for being a part of my journey. I do truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. So thank you. So uh, with this reading, uh, I am going to pull one card in the beginning. This is going to be the overall uh, theme of your reading for the first two weeks in December. I will then pull um, cards for the first week and the second week after that. So, all right. The one that flipped the uh, theme of your reading is free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So I will put that right over here and we'll see what that's all about. Your bottom of the deck, just FYI, is soulmate. So you guys are um, calling in your soulmate. You guys, uh, if you are doubting or questioning or wondering, yes, this is your soulmate. All right. So in the first two weeks of December, what is going on for our Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Cards, please. Let's see what's going on with you guys. What can Sagittarius expect in the first week? Oh, nice. Justice. Is this one there? Yep. So, you guys, this first card out is Justice. Things are going to be balancing out, things are going to um, be coming more balanced, even. Wow. Your second card that just fell out Temperance. More balance, more healing, more. Um, Oh my goodness, those cards together are just so beautiful. And um, being Major Arcana, you guys are going to have a huge first week of December. Oh my God, and this card just flipped. The world. Okay, Sadies. This is freaking amazing. Look at this. Huge changes are coming in for you. Justice. Getting what you deserve. Finally, um, you guys have had a rough... Oh, um, at least 10 years, if not 12 years for some of you, um, some of you seven years, it's just been rough. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Um, some of you have lost financially. Some of you have lost, um, love family members. Um, some of you have lost possessions. Karma is coming back around and with Jupiter home, it is swinging in your favor, especially with it in the upright things are balancing out for you. First, you have to free yourself from that mindset of lack that it never goes right for me. It's always, it's always unfair. Um, that is going to be changing. Once you free yourself, you can, um, you can start to heal. Uh, some of you, this is from a toxic person. Some of you, this is from a toxic, um, your toxic thoughts. Some of you, um, it's freeing yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, Whatever it is, it's time to take control back of your life. And my God, you guys are doing a beautiful job in the first week of December. Um, you guys are working on healing yourself, self-healing. Uh, definitely twin flame in the uh, or soulmate um, in your area, in your space, in your energy. Um, I'm feeling it very strong. Uh, this is just so beautiful. Uh, Archangel Michael here to bring you blessings, to bring you happiness, to bring you love. And once you free yourself and complete this chapter of your life, things are going to swing in a beautiful direction. Um, this is probably the best Sagittarius or best reading period I have done um, as a general reading. And I don't even remember how long. <laughs> in the second week of December, let's see what we got going on. I will pull clarifiers after I get all the cards out on the table. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And one more. Yeah. 
Thank you. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the five of wands in reverse. So getting rid of all that, that uh, toxic environment, the, all the bickering, whether it be in your head, your self of uh, your, you know, obsessive thoughts, whether it be inner conflict or whether it be um, outer conflict, you guys are escaping this. You guys are putting it to an end. No more. You're not putting up with it. Um, there could be some things that have been kept from you, but <clears throat> most importantly, this is you. You guys are using your intuition. It's telling you what you need to know, and you are following that. You guys are becoming very awakened. You guys could be experiencing um, psychic uh, tendencies where you you knew that person was going to call you or, you know, it's just the universe is trying to show you and confirm for you um, that your intuition is right. So believe it, follow it. <clears throat> Some of you are moving on very quickly, moving in a direction, a new direction, mo moving away from whatever it is in the past that you have to free yourself from, that you had to heal from. <clears throat> you guys are moving on, moving forward, whether that be with somebody or without. Um, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful reading thus far. Okay, um, in your second week, you guys have the Prince of Cups. Somebody is coming in to make you a love offer or to um, profess their love for you or you to them. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is here as well. This person wants to build this life with you, wants to build this future with you, wants to have the family, the, the abundance in everything. Um, this person also... Uh, could have a large family, but it's more so wanting to build a family with you. Um, this person could be an earth sign. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they are, they have been in a, in a time of healing as well. Um, they were in a pause. They were moving very slowly. They weren't moving at all, actually, because you see them here sleeping. Um, they were uh, trying to look at things from all, from all uh, viewpoints. They, they had a lot of things that they had to work through, a lot of healing, as well as a lot of decisions, a lot of choices. Um, they were in their head a lot. But even though they're here resting and thinking about things, they've already picked their sword. You see how that sword is laying next to him and the three are up here. These are their options. They're things that they have to deal with. And even though they're laying here thinking about it, they've already picked their sword. It's already been uh, set in stone. They're just taking some time to heal, to rest, even though you are the one they picked. And um, you don't have to worry about that because they are going to come forward in a very balanced, very grounded, very stable position. Um, they had to get their life in order before they could move forward um, and even begin to offer you this Ten of Pentacles um, or this is to you. Uh, but I do see this energy is outside of Sagittarius. So um, this is somebody that's coming towards you in the second week of December. Let me grab some clarifiers here. Why is justice here for uh, for Sagittarius? Wow. So somebody could have, uh, you've been thinking that somebody in love has been treating you unfairly. Um, you feel like it was out of balance. You were doing all the work. They weren't, they weren't offering you anything. Well, they're here. They're here the first week of December to show you they're here. They love you. Here's my, here's my heart. Here's my cup. Take it because it's all for you. And and that's how you start out the second week of December too. This person loves and cares for you a lot. Could be a Libra, um, but doesn't have to be. Uh, I have Libra here. I have Virgo. I have Sagittarius. Um, yeah, any, uh, let's see, I got um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Which one am I missing? Taurus. Um, there's, there, it's just all here. Don't get hung up on signs because just it's <clears throat> just don't get hung up on signs. This is a general reading, but what I'm just trying to say is this love is going to be offered to you and it's going to be fair and balanced. It's going to be an equal give and take, um, which is something you haven't been used to, Sagis. You've been giving a lot, giving a lot, giving a lot. And now since you haven't been getting back the same amount of energy, you feel like you're trapped here. You love this person, but they're not giving um, you what you need. So you don't know whether you should stay or go. They're coming in in December offering you a balanced relationship. You have to free yourself from that thought that uh, it's always going to be like this. Have the faith. Keep the faith. Always believe. If you believe, you receive. 
All right, what is temperance here for our Sagis? You came out in your own reading, beautiful. Um, like I said, remaining balance or gaining balance after a time of mental, emotional struggle that this person has caused you. What is temperance here for Sagis? Um, just a beautiful exchange of emotion. You see this angel in the cup, how it just it effortlessly flows right into each other. Um, it's just this relationship is going to be effortless not really effortless because no relationship is effortless but the love that you guys are going to be able to give to each other is free it's freely flowing where before it feels like it was restricted like you could have been hidden from somebody or or you were hiding somebody you're going to be able to be out and open with this relationship the truth is coming they are coming in very quickly and not only offering you love but they're offering you truth and this truth is going to be able to bring you healing that you need to know the truth for some of you you haven't had the truth and that is what is holding you up from getting over it you feel like you need to need to get to the bottom of it before you can heal from it well they're coming in very quick very fast very passionately as well and bringing you the truth and this is going to be able to close the door to the past all right that chapter in our life is over that chapter is is done let's start a new one i am the author of my story and let's let's begin writing um very amazing energy for you guys why is the world here this is going to allow oh wow <laughs> that just flipped out and that just flipped out this reading just gets better and better saggies like i was saying um the truth that they're bringing is going to allow you to close the chapter to the past it's going to be able to wipe the slate clean I do see this as somebody that you have been involved with in this lifetime. Um, this is a twin flame soulmate uh, energy that I'm getting uh, and, or a life partner that you have been with in the past. This world card is being clarified by the fool and the nine of cups. So this, this um, chapter ending, this slate being wiped clean is all you've wanted. It's everything you have hoped for, prayed for, wished for, tried to manifest it's here and it's bringing you a new beginning. It's bringing you a new instilled hope, faith of the future. Um, it's bringing you joy and just that fresh new energy that you guys need to get this relationship back off the ground. Um, and it's just, it's just amazing that, uh, it's amazing what the truth can do. The truth will set you free. Um, so yeah, oops, I got a hold there. Okay. This December of the print. person that you guys are supposed to be with and they are um leaving that cave now and coming out and a whole new person and ready to offer you the love that you deserve all right for some of you a small group of you you could have been seeing this person on and off since December as well all right um, they are going to, to tell you what they want for the future. They're coming in very passionately. Um, they have thought a lot about this. They know what it is they want and they're excited to talk to you about it. They're excited to offer you it. They're excited to build something with you. Um, they want to build a family with you. They want to, um, build a company with you. So many things, but whatever it is, they're passionate about it. They're excited to come forward and, and let you know their, um, what they have uh, found in their time of solitude, what they have been enlightened to. 
Guys, this King of Pentacles here for our Sagittarius. All right. So, yes, they are moving towards you in a very quick manner. Um, things are speeding up. They were moving very slow, um, very calculated, everything planned out, um, making plans maybe and not keeping those plans um, out of fear, but it no longer. They are moving very quickly, very fast towards you. Um, and wanting this new beginning with you guys. Why is the Four of Swords here? Oh, I don't even know where that went. <laughs> Wow, that was my elbow. <laughs> All right, the three of cups. So they are ready to, this is going to be a cause for celebration. Um, they have thought long and hard about this situation. They thought long and hard about whether they want to come forward. And when they do, it is going to be a very happy reunion, a very happy time for you guys. Some of you could be moving um, together with this chariot card. You could be physically finding a place together. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to be grounded, stable, happy. Um, and it's going to be a new beginning for you guys. It's going to be everything that you guys had hoped for, wished for, prayed for, manifested. Um, and the bottom of the clarifying deck is the six of pentacles. Uh, that's the third time that's been the bottom of the card when I was pulling clarifiers, uh, balance, balance is coming to this relationship. The getting rid of the third party energy, um, if you are a third party to this person, uh, just, just overall it's the first two weeks of December could be very beautiful. Um, if you are dealing with a Virgo, possibly they are coming in the, uh, after the 11th. And I don't know where that came from, but that just came, that just came from somewhere. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get one, um, advice card for you guys today, and then I will let you go. One card of advice for our Sagittarius for the first two weeks of December, 2018. All right. Your guys' card of advice is the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humanity, or Humility, and Conscious Action. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, with this card, the it it's here to tell you guys um, it's time to find your true purpose. Um, you guys need to remember just to find gratitude for each moment you experience and. Loving what it is that you're going through, loving what you what it is that you have been through and what's coming towards you. Because um, every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness for the divine, for the universe. So um, it's asking you to ask yourself in the next two weeks, what can I do to serve? What can I do to serve the universe, to serve source, to serve humankind? Um, however it is that you choose um, to what in what way you choose to look at it um it's just asking you to to start your journey to start your life's purpose and to start your selfless act of service to the collective um whether you're aware of it or not it's time to start this uh process um it's also wanting you to know that you are on the correct path to fulfilling your greatest desires so don't give up um, it's been a long, hard goal, uh, long, hard, uh, path up to this point, but you guys are so close. Uh, yeah, it's also saying that it wants you to know that your actions of service and, and gratitude will bring you abundance beyond your wildest dreams. Um, as long as your reason for doing this service is not for yourself, but for the collective, for the greatest good of, of man, you know? So, all right, Sagittarius, you guys have an amazing, amazing reading for the first two weeks of December. Um, enjoy it. And as always, remember to, uh, ask how you can serve and it's going to bring you guys much love, much abundance beyond 
what you could um, begin to imagine. So what a amazing, amazing message. So, all right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys have a beautiful next two weeks. God bless.